Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sarfraz Karim. Now I am going to discuss with you people about the product market matrix, which is also known as ANSOF product market matrix. And also it is known as strategy for diversification. So if somebody asks you about the product market matrix, we are talking about this matrix. If somebody asks you about the strategy for diversification, we are talking about this strategy. Actually, it's a research based matrix which has been done by ANSOF. And ANSOF product market matrix is well known marketing tools which was first published in the Harvard Business School review by ANSOF, who is the researcher of this matrix and with the name of strategies for diversification. That's why I'm saying it is also known as a strategy for diversification. There is two main things over here. Two main factors are there. One is product. Another one is market. So a product can be a new product. A product can be the existing product. Existing product means a company is operating in the same product for the many year that is the existing product or a company can change into a product maybe upgrade the product update the product or completely come up with the new idea and come up with the new product that is the new product and market market can also be the existing market means a company is operating in the same market where he is operating since beginning or a market can be the new market it can be the new demographical market, it can be the new geographical market, it can be the new customer. So it is used by the marketeers. This matrix is used by the marketeers for the purpose of growth. Means if market and product is in this situation, what can be the strategy? If market and product is in different situation, what can be the strategy? So based upon these things there are the four main categories for the selection based on product and market how it is let us see with the help of this simple diagram you can easily understand what can be the four different situation and what can be the strategy in this one we will understand each and every one with the help of simple example so as I, at the beginning i told you the first one you can see this one market penetration this is the strategy name. What is the situation here is product is present. Present here means existing product and market is present means in this situation product is also existing market is also existing means since very year the companies are dealing in the same market with the same product. So how to increase the market share, how to attract the more number of customer in the same market, how to take the uh, share from their competitors this strategy is known as market penetration let us move to the second one here here the situation is like this the product is present means existing product is there but the market is new so in this case market is new and product is existing and this strategy name is market development so we have to focus here more on the market, concentrate on new customer, concentrate on new geographical area. So market development is there. Third situation is where the product is new, but the market is the same market. In the same market, we come up with the new product. We come up with the upgraded product. We come up with the updated product. So in this case, the strategy name is product development means we have to focus more on the new product we have to focus more on the research and development part we have to focus more on the what you call as the product uh, quality part so product development is there and the last one is which is most risky and most rewarding in many cases is product is also new market is also new so the here the strategy name is diversification so let us see one by one what is the market penetration what can be the real example and what are the strategies in each all these four cases the first one is market penetration market penetration strategy is applied where the existing product 
is for the existing market for the existing customer the market penetration strategy a penetration means a spreading penetration means going more into the deep can be done in the following way we can do the market penetration because our product is not new to the customer customers are also not new in that case what can be the strategy what can be the policy what can be the market penetration how we can do the market penetration either we can decrease the prices means decrease the prices to attract the existing or more or we can do more promotion or we can make more easily available uh, to the customer product like this way we can increase our customer or like this way we can or acquire the competitors in the same marketplace if the competitors are little bit weak if the competitors are new so in that case if we have the strong power if we have the strong negotiation things we can acquire the competitors so competitors shares are also added to us so these are the some way through which we can do the market penetration our product is existing our customers are existing let us take some market penetration example for example tele telecommunication companies they are not doing anything new but they always try to give some more promotional activities by giving them the discount by giving them some uh, what you call as the introductory prices by giving them some more data benefits by giving them some free uh, data or some off time calling like this way they are they are also giving some uh, free or bonus things so that to increase the market share another example is let us take the example of coca cola coca cola is spending lots of effort or lots of money on penetration part how they are generally going to the distributor to increase the more number of distributor they are looking for the supermarket they are looking for the restaurant bar stadium where the number of people are gathering in a huge number so there they can advertise they can focus on the customer they are also come up with the new way of doing the advertisement through the different different ideas so with the new advertisement with the new promotional policy with the new distribution policy with the different segment of that one so like this way to attract the same customer for the same product we can say as the market penetration now the second thing is market development market development strategy is applied where for our existing product we are going to into a new market this new market come in a different way in a number of way like we are going to catering to a different customer segment like suppose previously we are only only have the product or we believe that this product is only for the uh, middle class income group we may go with the lower income group people also we may going for the higher group income people also so like this way also market development is there second way is entering into a new domestic market domestic market in a sense previously we are only uh, applying or only doing our product into a one provinces one state one geographical area of the country now we try to enter into a other provinces other states in the same country or we are entering into a foreign market we may go to the different if we are product of america now we believe that our product is very good and already it is situated in saturated in this market let us go for the european market let us go for the asian market so that expanding of the new market with the existing product is called as market development it can be in terms of new customer segment it it can be in the new re regional increase of the market or it can be the international increase of the market let us take the example of market development so that it will be easy to understand for example a sporting company nike and adidas we all know about the nike and adidas they are a sporting company they are producing the shoes clothes related with the sports even sports equipment and recently they try to or they have entered into a chinese market total new market for the expansion the two firms are offering the same product whatever the product they are offering to the european market american market now they are offering to a new market which is the chinese market 
and number of customers are going to increase they face some difficulties they are facing some challenges but this is called as market development another example is ikea ikea is very famous company for the furniture retailer and their policy is wherever they are going they have invested a huge amount of money recently they enter into a market such as china india middle east so looking for the new their home country is sweden but they try to in looking for the new market because they know their products are very expensive they know their products are very quality they know their products are liked by the people so that they are looking for the new market a new market in the form of china india middle east like that one so market development is like this let us move to the third one the third one is product development in the product development product is new but the market is existing means for the same customer for our existing customer for our existing market we are offering new product new product in a sense of completely new product or in a sense of a updated upgraded or some more quality product for that one to cater the or to satisfy or to increase the more number of customer so how we will do it we can invest more in the research and development for the new product for the catering the existing market so that our current customer who has the faith in our product will going with the new product as well acquiring the competitor products also it is one way we can acquire the competitor products or merge the resources of the supplier to get a new or better product for the existing customer let us take the example of product development like automotive companies take the example of us us automatic uh, automotive company means those who are making the cars they are generally making the car for the diesel engine or the for the petrol and now they are coming with the concept of electric car electric car is a new product but they are offering this electric car to their existing customer current master market consumer in the automobile automobile market are become, becoming more environmental conscious so they are also looking for the car who is more environmental friendly who is more society friendly who is also a new product of that one another example is whenever apple is launching any new or upgraded version of iphone they first launch in their home or in their home country usa what is that one means apple new phone or new model that is the new product where it was launched first in the home country that is the usa that is also comes under the product development so this is the example of product development finally the fourth one is diversification diversification means where the market is new as well as product is also new as i told you at the beginning this is the risky one but this is also the sometimes most rewarding one it will also give the chance to get the uh, first mover advantage to become the leader of that particular field or in that new product to the new market so risk is also there a reward is also there but in this case there are the two type of diversification two type of diversification simple meaning is related diversification and unrelated diversification related diversification means a company who is making a new product of their own field like automobile company is making new product related with the automobile industry you can say as the making a car a bike industry or two wheeler or three wheeler company are making four wheeler or a truck or car they all are of the same their products are different but in the same field or a, a hardware company or a software company is going for the call center services going for the consultancy services going for the uh, making the computer so they are also into the same related field of that one but suppose a fmcg company is making mobile phone a consumer goods company making the car so it's unrelated diversification new product into a different so let us take the example of 
so a leather shoe producer a leather shoe producer that start a line of leather leather wallet purse or you can say as the leather belt accessories which is related with the leather so it is called as related diversification strategy and also suppose the company belong to the china and they have started this new product into a Asia, other asian countries like they have started this new product to the new country like india it is called as related diversification and suppose the same leather company is manufacturing phone now is manufacturing software now and they are doing these things into a different country not in the for the same market for the same product so it is called as unrelated diversification strategy another example is also there for the unrelated a great example of unrelated is samsung which is operating in business varying from computer phone and refrigerator to chemical insurance hotel services so this is called as totally unrelated and they are also launching these things in a different for the different area for the different location for the different consumer so it is called as diversification for that so i hope this ends of product market matrix is clear to everyone thank you very much so also you can see here the example you can easily understand like for the coca cola first one is market penetration for the existing market for the existing product the, the second one on your right side at the top market development means market is new but the product is existing the third one product is new the coca cola cherry coca cola vanilla but market is for the same one and fourth one is related diversification is related with coca cola it may be the vitamin syrup or vitamin juice or something like that it is related diversification unrelated diversification means like apparel or clothes business which is totally unrelated with the business of beverages so that's the another example of answer product market matrix